There's been so much chatter about this year's Super Bowl halftime show, it's almost eclipsed chatter about the game itself. Critics say entertainers should have passed to show solidarity for quarterback Colin Kaepernick. Rihanna, the NFL's first choice, reportedly declined the performance to show her support for the quarterback. So, should Maroon 5 have accepted the gig? In his only interview ahead of Sunday's game, the group's frontman, Adam Levine, told Entertainment Tonight he considered the controversy when he made the decision. We expected it. We'd like to move on from it. And like I said earlier, speak through the music. Kaepernick, the star athlete turned activist, has been a free agent since 2016, essentially radioactive, jobless, despite the belief of many that he can help someone's team. Many see his unemployment as retribution for kneeling during the national anthem. His right to protest and the treatment of him as a player has led some fans to boycott the NFL. NPR's hip-hop correspondent Rodney Carmichael says with the game in Atlanta, the NFL missed a chance to highlight diversity from local acts. Because of where they stand politically on this Kaepernick issue and refusing to see his protest over racial injustice as just that, they're missing out on the opportunity to score a lot of goodwill and a lot of great ratings by having this be the kind of hip-hop homecoming halftime show that it should have been. The two other acts who signed on to perform, Atlanta native Big Boy and chart topper Travis Scott, and even Gladys Knight, who will sing the national anthem, also felt the heat. But Carmichael says fans shouldn't put more blame on the performers than the NFL. Okay, good afternoon. At a press conference this week, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell sidestepped any responsibility for Kaepernick not being in the league. I think if a team decides uh, that Colin Kaepernick or any other player can help their team win, that's what they'll do. Uh, they want to win, and they make those decisions individually in the best interest of their club. A decision to cancel Thursday's news conference, traditionally meant for the Super Bowl halftime performer, only added to the criticism. Maroon 5 singer Levine said it was the NFL's decision to do so. He says he hopes the group's performance will show critics where he stands. We'll, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, hopefully without becoming politicians, to make people understand we got you. There are several petitions, one with over 100,000 signatures calling for Maroon 5 to take a knee during their halftime performance. There's another petition which is calling for Maroon 5 to step out of their performance altogether. Without giving too much away, frontman Adam Levine says, by the end of Sunday, the world will see that Maroon 5's performance was a reflection for everyone, even the critics. Nick Valencia, CNN, Atlanta.